No, sir. I've uh, I've quit drinking. You've seen the error of your ways. No, I just can't afford it. <laughs> That's cute. I remember when I had my first beer. Yes. So, God, I have a rare condition which requires me to drink one of those every 15 minutes, please. Yeah, well, give me a fucking drink. Moving, you little prick. I'm sorry, Bruce. These boys get that syrup in them. They get a little antsy and that pantsy. They just can't keep them under control. All right. Cheers, and welcome back to Reels, Booze, and Bros, a.k.a. RB2. I'm your host, Jay. Got my co-host here, Brian. Got Real Bro Fan Kev. Gentlemen, we are back. It's been a bit. Our last podcast was Dearly Beloved. We gathered here today to witness Princess Vespa, daughter of King Roland, going right past the altar, <laughs> heading down the ramp, and out the door. <laughs> I was going to say, you don't know. Oh, <laughs> shit. Should I start that again? It's about so, to go down. Oh, man. <laughs> Have you guys checked? Uh, I was able to make some video. Take off on in those. Ranger One. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> on that. So, um, yeah. So, Spaceballs for May the 4th was our last podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was fun, right? Good, good time. That was a good one. Yeah. yeah. Probably the greatest parody movie of all time, correct? Right? Yeah. You have yeah. to agree with that because everyone tries to live up to after that scary movie, not another team, which is pretty good. There was It popped uh, in my head just now when we were talking about it. Because nobody mentioned uh, Men in Tights last time also. But, uh, but it was also Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks so just but what about uh, Hot Shots? Hot shots. Uh, I would give that. Yeah, that's, that's a okay. good one. That's a top fiver. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I yeah, still think Spaceballs yeah. is better than saying good party oh, yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hot yeah. Sh- it, the second one, part two, was just like, eh. I guess it was a little too much at that point. So <laughs> I was like, no, no. The first one was better. Some s- bastards <laughs> knotted my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! Was that the one where he's like, um, he's fighting with the. Like trying to do like was it blood sport or was it um kickboxer? He puts so, his, yeah, he puts I think his, so. like hands. I think that's in the second one. Second part part two. The first one was when the the knotted the shoes. Yeah, the guy was like he's like come on we'll get you out of here. I can't move. The first one, the one where uh, Carrie Ellis explains what a chafing dish is at the very end. Also, <laughs> no no no, that's for cooking all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or no, the crock pot that's for cooking all day. The yeah. chafing dish. Yeah. <laughs> oh excuse me. There we go. All right, so moving on. Today's real. Super troopers. <laughs> yep, Super Troopers. Ursula, <laughs> Ursula. <laughs> uh, what, what a weird name that is. Uh, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll get into that. It, I don't know why, why they picked that. But uh, first, we'll go with the booze. Uh, we got. So, uh, in order to, I guess, it, it very slim pickings in the fridge. Uh, they've kind of threw this together mm-hmm. last minute. So, we went with Voodoo Ranger. It looks kind of like a, uh, okay, you know, guy got a nice. Uh, Mounty hat on, so it's kind of like Super Troopers. That's good enough. <laughs> but uh, Kev can't partake in this. He's having a nice Sam Adams summer, which is I'll probably have after some good stuff. The <laughs> summer pack. I yeah. Some this weekend. Even though it doesn't feel like summer, but it's okay. That's not bad. It's a nice little. It's not, no, no, no. I'm saying the weather outside doesn't feel like summer. I'll take Not this. like how it was the weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll take this weather anytime. Though. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'll, this, I'm, this is the coldest I wanted to get here, here on the <laughs> East Coast. It's like in the 70s going on here. So that's uh, what I said. All right. Background for Super Troopers. That Jesus, my Christ! <laughs> Computer, you have unseen notifications. It's thanks, thanks, Instagram. Stop. Computer <laughs> must be very important. Yeah, so, uh, I got a reel by not Banana Man. Uh, okay, I don't even know. Who <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so Super Troopers, the 2001 American comedy film directed by Jay uh, Chandrasekhar. I can't. I can never pronounce that name. And written uh, written by and starring the Broken Lizard comedy group. Uh, Chan, Jessica, sorry, Kevin Hefferman, Heffernan, Steve Lamb, Paul Soder, and Eric Stol- Stolansky. Jesus. Uh, Marissa Coland, uh, Daniel Van uh, Bergen, and Brian Cox co star while Linda Carter has a cameo appearance in Total Fox Searchlight. Paid $3.25 million for distribution rights to the film, and it grossed $23 million to box office. Wow. That's, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> this is. <laughs> Uh, let's see. A sequel for Super Troopers Two was released on April twentieth, twenty eighteen. Not really that good. The second mm, one, it was, was all right. right. I wouldn't say it was great. Like this is one of the movies where you can't live up to like the original. <laughs> that's going on. Let's see. IMDb, Metacritic, uh, Rotten Tomatoes, Rotten Tomatoes, thirty six percent of Tomato Meters, ninety percent audience score. Yeah, definitely a fan favorite. <laughs> IMDb seven point oh out of ten. Metacritic forty eight out of hundred. User score is seven point six out of ten. All right, boys, what do we think, bros? Well, uh, review. You guys' thoughts on Super Troopers? I mean, for me, I I love this movie. Uh, can you like consider this um, a cult classic? I because I, I mean, I feel like I know I didn't watch it in movie theater. 
I watched it after, yeah, and I, I felt I, I like it was more of a a word of a mouth sort of movie. I didn't see uh, it in theaters. I saw it the year it came out because it came. I know it came out in South Jersey, and my one roommate that eventually became a cop loved this fucking movie. So. <laughs> well, I remember. Wa- I mean, we've been watching it for twenty years yeah. now. So yes. I mean, like, but I'm just saying, like, I know it was more of a word of mouth movie. Like, if I saw a preview for this, I was probably like, ah, I don't know about that, you know, because it's obviously like no one we really knew, like star wise, at that time. Uh, you know, 2001 still driven by stars. You know, like movies that yep. you're gonna go, yeah, yeah, yeah. go out and see. Um, but uh, yeah, like when you when you watch it, it's such like a, you know perfect for this because it's such like a rewatchable movie that you could just pick it up anywhere and just fucking go along. And you're like, oh, I know what's gonna happen. Like you know the lines and you know exactly what's gonna happen. But it it's still just fucking just as funny as the first time. So that's one of the best. I didn't. Part. I haven't seen this movie in forever, and I'm uh, like, oh, I forgot a lot of this shit. There's uh, one line that I don't remember. That's actually my favorite line from the movie. <laughs> I'll get to that later. But I, I mean, I was watching. I was like, what the fuck was that? I never heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've seen this so many times. It's like it's just it's just like a perfect movie for you know putting on TV and it's you know like it could be on HBO you know stars any of those but then it's also a perfect movie if it's on Comedy Central you know because it you know it's just as funny it, it has no curse words or anything in it and it's you know still holds up so you know it's it's a, it's a really good movie and I I truly enjoy it hmm. I see Kev what do you think your thoughts on uh, Super Troopers yeah, I love this movie. It's definitely way up there for a great... And it's, like you said, it came out of nowhere, basically. I mean, I, I remember it being advertised, but no one thought it was going to be anything big or anything like that. But yeah, when we lived in South Jersey in the middle of the woods, there was nothing else to watch. So, <laughs> so when this was out, like, so I think it was the, the Stockton Channel, like, picked it up as one of the movies they showed. It was like <laughs> this... Channel. It was like this PCU and Blade on a loop, basically. Oh. That's what <laughs> Blade? Those are like three great movies yeah. right there. Yeah, they was. I mean, it was good times down there. Two getting, comedies. Getting, getting drunk in the woods, watching uh, two comedies, and then Wesley Snipes yeah. just beat the shit out of vampires. Or... <laughs> two, two comedies and an action. <laughs> I guess but, this, uh, this is nice, like nice little comedy. sandwich right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but no, we used to joke about this movie all the time. So I, when I was rewatching it, it was just like nice, like reliving those days where I used to have, you know, more than six beers and not feel like I was going to die immediately, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I'm just going to, this is pregame. I'm just getting started and everything like this that. This is just, this is an easy pregame. But it's, it's, you know, it's got, you know, a lot of great one liners, dialogue between people and just like off the wall, baddie shit going on with the cops the whole time. The the first scene for this movie, the, the first pullover, is like an all time, like great open. To yeah. a movie, in my opinion. Yeah, it's it gets you right from the beginning. <laughs> Even watching it the first time, I'm just you know, not. I'm sorry, watching it now after having seen it so many times, just when he f- fucking throws the car in reverse, just goes right back behind him again. Like, ah, oh, this is great. <laughs> yeah, pull over. <laughs> we can't pull over anymore. He's already so pulled over. Pull, pull over further, man. <laughs> pull over further. Listen, I know you're gonna you're gonna have to eat this weed. <laughs> also, can you eat this this mushroom? By the way, that was a hundred bucks, and the weed was thirty bucks. So you owe me a hundred. <laughs> yeah, like so, like hundred and thirty bucks. It's like, oh man, that's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have to agree. That, uh, I, I would say this, yes, this is like a cult classic because word of mouth, like I don't remember any time because we were 18 at that point seeing this. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, 19, theater, I don't remember 20. this coming out in the theaters at, at all. And then just next thing you know, we're like, we Super Troopers, you have to watch this. Mm-hmm. And I, I saw it, a DVD, and I was like, this movie is fucking hysterical. And this pretty much launched their, their career. And they, that's how we get Beer Fest later on. Um, what's some of the good ones that they do? There's a couple other they ones. They did the other one, Club, there was the cruise Club one, Dread. Right? Yeah, cruise Club one, Dread. Club Dread was great. The, uh, I think there was like a sh- the one there, like they were chefs at one point. And I, didn't, I didn't see that. They, yeah, they were good. They, they're coming out with another one. Super uh, Troopers 3 is coming out. Is it 3? I think yeah. no, it was something just before that this, uh, these, uh, these guys got a broken lizard were doing. Well, there's actually. Oh, oh, it's on Hulu I wanted to see. What's the medieval one? Did you not see those commercials? Oh, okay. It's a show? So, no, a it's a it's a movie where it's oh, basically okay. the hunchback, the guy um Isn't like one a king or something like that? It's it's Mac and he's like the hunchback guy and he falls in love with the princess or something like that. It's just <laughs> like it's like a shit show. So <laughs> Actually, I, I just looked at because I remember I couldn't remember the title was, but the title for Super Troopers Three is Super Trooper Tree Super Troopers Three Winter Soldier. So <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, oh my god. All right, I'm in. Winter Soldiers, I'm sorry. So, Winter yeah. so- <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, that, like I said, the second one was okay. It had its moments in it, but yeah. like if they could build off of that, uh-huh. yeah, uh, that'd be that'd be good. I hope I probably have to rewatch. Two in order to see three. Now. Two had its moments. The only thing I remember is Rob Lowe and the uh, like the the male strippers that were yeah. at the one point, which is like 
Rob Lowe's just sitting there like just tapping all their dicks basically when he's walking by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I have to agree, Brian. That this is definitely a movie where you pick up from literally you can pick this movie up from anywhere. You just, yeah, you just go. Like, all right, I'm watching this. Yeah. There's a lot of times when I watch these movies, I'm like, I'm watching from the beginning. I yeah. need to see this. I need to see where, where the predator is. I need to see that kill. Yeah, certain <laughs> I, I need to see a uh, fucking uh, Leo. Uh, th- I'm not fucking leaving. Like I, <laughs> like, like I need to see all all of Wolf of Wall Street from the beginning. Yeah. Cause this is stuff you, need, you just can't like. You're, like any like Christopher Nolan movies. Like yeah, uh, I could pick it up anywhere, but I'd rather watch. Be like, you know what? I'll just rewatch. I'll just. I would say maybe like the first twenty minutes of of Batman. Um, the new one? Not no. Okay. I, I love the new one <laughs> the, of, of the Nolan the, Batman. The, uh, or, like just Batman Begins. Yeah, Batman Begins. That's the one, right? Yeah, prob- yeah. I could probably do without. Go, like yeah, I have to start from so. there. I can go from after he comes back and starts his stuff. Uh, but that, oh no, most of the tr- the actual training is pretty good in Batman Begins. I yeah, it's not. No, but bad, that's like twenty. Like, that's like probably twenty minutes in, I guess. Yeah, I like, think it's a little from bit there. I, I don't know. We I have to go know. to and take because the beginning is. I think the beginning with the trial after he sees the guys get off and he's thinking about murdering the guy himself and that's when he goes away afterwards. That first yeah, twenty minutes, yeah, whatever. When he gives uh-huh. uh fucking not bullet tooth Tony, but the other guy his jacket, the homeless guy. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I can't remember who he was in Snatch. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> not bullet tooth Tony. It was somebody else. Uh-huh. Oh man, you're right. God, it's Back. Anyway, all right, let's, let's super troopers. Let's, let's bring it back going on here. So, all right, so you started it. <laughs> all right, uh, as I agree, we also kind of I have to agree with you. Like the, the opening scene, like that's like always when you think of super troopers, you think of just just that. I was like, for some reason, I thought that was earlier. I mean, not really later on in the movie. I'm like, oh shit, they're leading with this. I forgot how long it was. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it was actually a longer. Yeah, I, I have that as like the first first scene for me. You know, like it's just oh, of course, I have so. like the first ten minutes of the movie because it. You know them chasing uh, the Miata. Yeah. yeah, I have that opening scene with the stoners in the car getting pulled. All right, so let's let's go on. Let's yeah. go straight. <laughs> Favorite scenes here is going on. We can all agree, like opening scene was this, chasing the stoners and uh, getting pulled over twice, and then eating the the weed and throwing out, and then <laughs> all the way through uh, Mac kidnapping the boys. Yeah. Your boys like Mexico. <laughs> 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 what are you, the shoe police? <laughs> yeah. That's it. All right, twenty so, laps around the bar. <laughs> all right, Kev. So we got from there going on. Throw your scenes out. So there. I have that. I don't really have a lot. That's uh, like the introduction for a lot of the the officers, especially because a lot of the beginning of the movies they're interacting with the other police department who all suck. And I know you're not supposed to like them anyway, but I don't really yeah. like a lot of the scenes with them. After the opening scene, I don't have anything till the baseball game we just saw. Oh yeah, a lot, a lot of funny stuff mm. there. Uh, uh, you know, Ursula getting hit in the face with the ball. Oh, yeah. Pretending he's going to punch her in the face. <laughs> yeah, it takes it on the chin. <laughs> <laughs> all the stuff with the uh, the other team trying to peg his kid, <laughs> but. <laughs> Uh, so I have that. Then I go right to, I, I think most of the pullovers are pretty good, but I had the opening scene and then obviously uh, the German motorists, basically. Uh, yep. <laughs> I need this. <laughs> <laughs> Arlo, why don't you, you, uh, you want to sit on, on my lap? No, uh, no, no, no. It's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about you hop in the middle? <laughs> Uh, so I, I have a lot of stuff that moves towards the end of the movie after that, basically. I, all of the pullover scenes are good, but the, the only one besides the opening one that I really like is obviously the, the German motorist, and then uh-huh. the follow-up afterwards with the mustache ride also. So Yes, yes, I have to agree with that one. So uh, so from there I go to uh, to Favre's restaurant scene. Uh, uh. <laughs> Baking the burgers for a cop. What you tell him that for? It's going to be spitting it? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> I want a goddamn liter of cola. Yep. Yeah, but, like that's like... Hold, really... the, hold the spit. It's for a cop. <laughs> really, we're far. No, the guy, the guy in the back, no spit, got it. Yeah. <laughs> Roger that, no spit. <laughs> I have to say, yeah, that's I'd say that's really where Farver shines in this movie. And that, that's hey, Burger Punk, get over, <laughs> <laughs> hops over the fucking thing. Yeah. yeah, even though it's not the same exact scene, but when uh, O'Hagan is watching it back and he's rewinding and he's just like, motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I got a bunch of fucking morons on the charge. Ah, that's it, you're off. <laughs> But I didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do anything. I just see him fucking <laughs> pulling him over the fucking register and shit like that. So, uh, that's great. What else you got, Kev? Uh, I'll go to the uh, the gun range then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this little guy? I wouldn't worry about that oh. little guy. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, Fuck your mother! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, great prank. You know, we did it. We used to do it the car. The rookie used to be naked. Yeah, we got we also use We still use blanks, back. though. You sick motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why I'm like, oh, Hagen, you're the best. <laughs> uh, good old uh, Then I'll just go... Uh, I don't like the the end of the movie all that much, although the uh, the kegger at the end during the, uh, the credits yes. is great when yeah, they're dropping the keg off, but 
Uh, it's a real random thing just happening in that montage towards the end. Just the uh, the bear fucker scene. <laughs> yes, that was a good one. I like that montage, actually. The montage is yeah, really them, good. Yeah, them going to get the Winnebago. Get the, uh, father throwing up all over the yeah. bathroom. Uh -huh. <laughs> them, like, father getting beat up by the kids off the bus. Oh, oh that's, yeah, at the very end when they're very showing end. the, uh, yeah, the police footage guy. where you, yep. you learn what the school bus incident was. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, I like that. And then... Uh, with the party, I like where they, they said, oh, yeah, you're fucked. And have the one kid going back, like, the plane, like, uh, that yeah, game. They're throwing shit at him. They're throwing shit at him. They're like, <laughs> fucking, like, extinguisher at him. He's like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, that reminds me of a camping trip. <laughs> oh, man. I got anything else, Kev? Uh, no, that was it. All yeah. right, Brian, there's, there's a lot. I think get? this, I mean, there's good scenes, but I think there's a lot of, like, just weird shit they say that just makes it funny. Like, it's a lot true. of, like, it's like a cross of like dialogue and one-liners that they have. That's yeah. pretty good. So. Yeah, that makes this. All scene. right, so I, I pretty much have almost all those scenes. I'm gonna add a few in there, so I'm gonna kind of keep it somewhat in order. So then I'll do the um, after the opening scene. I'll go to the uh, syrup chugging scene. I fucking I don't know why, but I fucking <laughs> love that. They're like, they're, I'm like, it's wait got a those minute, those little bird lips over yeah. there. What do you do? <laughs> fucking chugging syrup. <laughs> got to open throat, cup the balls. Yeah. <laughs> So fucking random. I'm like, yeah, the fact that they're chugging syrup kind of like, and I mean, I do love syrup, like, so, but I'm like, it's, could I chug the syrup? It's with fucking them? disgusting. Like, my, my favorite part I've seen is Ursula is at the bar. She's like, yeah, can I get some syrup? They're like, uh, we're out. <laughs> <laughs> but then I love the fact when they get into the fight with the, not, it's not a fight, but it's just like they're, they run into the cops yeah. and then the other, they're making fun of, um, fucking Thorny. And they think he's Mexican, and he's like, "Yeah." The other guy's like, "Yeah," and I'll take a chinchilla. <laughs> <laughs> the way he they goes, they all think I'm Mexican. You're not Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then all of a sudden, uh, Mac just throws the fucking syrup bottle and hits the other guy in the head, and he's like, "Sit down, Rando," and he's like. <laughs> Okay, and he sits down and hits him again. <laughs> Just love it because when he when Rando, if you if you go back and watch it, when he gets up to try to run, his face is so fucking funny. I lose it every time. I'm just like, oh, this is great. Um, but yeah, then he's like, they get the syrup in their in their pants. They get a little antsy in their pantsy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> fucking O'Hagan. Um, from there, I mean, I, another great pullover scene is the the fucking meow. Yep, I mean the like meow that, traffic yeah. stop. I have that one. Yeah, too. yeah like I said, I had most of the driver stops. So I just wanted to point out the one that's on the screen right now, and then also the opening. But yeah, yeah all, uh, all the pullovers are great. That yeah. repeater. Yeah, I <laughs> I love that it's like Jim Gaffigan too, and he's just <laughs> like, hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind, like, kind of sounds like you said meow. Yeah. <laughs> do I look like a? Do I look like a, <laughs> my old nimbly pimply jumping from tree to tree? <laughs> do I look like I'm sipping milk out of a saucer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, and then the best is fucking Mac on the other side. He's like one more, <laughs> and he's like meow. <laughs> but it's like when he's like, are, are you saying meow? Am I saying meow? When he looks at him, he's like, he's counting the four. He's like, eh, 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 I don't know if that counts. Oh, he was, in, yeah, he was in beer fest. That's right. He don't know why the guy, the, the guy in the traffic stop. Oh yeah, he's the head. Uh, Felipe. Yeah, he's the head guy. Well, he's the the Brennick Meyer. Yeah, yeah, the brewing master. Or whatever. Yeah, 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 I was like, I'm like, who the fuck is? I'm like, why is this guy? I came in for a hug and forgot that. Uh, All was, right, so we had uh, Farber gets a burger. Um, I'll do the brawl at the Winnebago. <laughs> I just like that. And all of a sudden they get up there and Thorny and, and Rabbit just pull up. And it's just like, uh, he goes in and he's like messing up the crime scene. He's like, hey, stop touching the crime scene. And he's like, well, he just thinks like he could do whatever he wants. He's like, that's a Johnny Chippo tattoo. And he's like, what did I just say? <laughs> and then, it, you know, you hear that noise in the, in the back of the Winnebago and they're just like, uh, no one knows what it is, and it's a hog, and they all come running out. <laughs> Mac Mac comes in, <laughs> and he's just like, he, she's angry, I'm angry. <laughs> he goes in there, he comes out with a fucking bloody nose, and he's like, Did you guys know there was a dead chick in there? <laughs> <laughs> I just like when they when they go out and they're doing the uh, the exchange. Like, all right, I trade you the fat one for that one. I'll trade you the stupid one. He's like, well, you have to specify. They're all kind of fat and stupid. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that was, um, yeah, that was that was good. Um, we did the bear fucker scene. Uh, hey, uh, bear bear, bear fucker. fucker. Are you okay? Do you need assistance? Do you need assistance? And he's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And the noise is going on. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. Um, 
So then, for, like, because I kind of have it into the into the whole like party, because then it goes like you know the highway guys are trying to expose the cops at the same time. So with that, then like you said, Farva gets fucking shit faced, and he's like, "Open bar, dude," <laughs> and he's like. <laughs> Six six slitches. Ah, we don't have slitches. Ah, whatever's free then. <laughs> and he gets all tanked up. And what is he, the one line? He's like, "Hey, you want to go punch for punch back?" And he just it just decks him, yeah, <laughs> right in his stomach. And it is. Do you ever notice the line that Farver says? No. From that, he's like, "Ah, he's got like, deserved, yeah, something like he's that." A, yeah. No, he's like, "I never should have shitter." <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so then there was that. And then I have, like, I guess I call it, like, the final duel and when they're fighting each other. The cops and the highway guys are, are fighting each other in the final battle, you know. Like, the lead-up into it is fucking... Grady was great in that because he was fucking shit-faced. And he, like, fucking <laughs> just... Throws the whiskey bottle on his porch. <laughs> yeah, he, they run over the Grady's uh, fucking um, mailbox and then, he, then, then the fight between all the cops and, you know, it's just... He's like... Tag him and bag him. <laughs> Two-time Navy champ. <laughs> that's right. Beats the shit. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So then, you know, that's it. But then there's like little scenes in there or like just like little random clips that I like. One that we were just watching before. When they're like uh, washing a car and and uh, Thorny goes to slide over and he just falls right off and he's like, Nice wax job, Rook. <laughs> <laughs> he slides right up. <laughs> like, just the way it is. It's so stupid, but I love it. And then that the fucking um, Foster and Mac trying to drive the fucking uh, 18-wheeler. And they're like, yeah, I got this one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just, and then just fucking, nothing. And they can't get out of gear, and they <laughs> switch it over and just... And the same thing. And the music, the music is perfect for it, yeah. and it just, nothing goes. But yeah, those just like quick little snippets in there that happen that they have. Yeah, I have to agree. Pretty much all of those, and you got one of my... <laughs> I don't know what's is that favorite, powdered sugar? Yeah, that's ex- <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what. As the scene, the scene I was about to say, where they like they they have Farva and they're like they're fe- like basically tar and feathering him, but they're spraying with the hose and throwing powdered, powdered sugar, sugar yeah. on him and everything. It kills the lice. I was gonna say, it takes care of the lice. It's, yeah. like, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's coming, but he says deadpan he face. Comes, he comes out <laughs> still naked. <laughs> Hey, Charlie's Angel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fucking love that scene. Don't you see some tiny man dick? <laughs> fucking, but, oh, uh, another good scene, Foster, when he's trying to uh, get Ursula. When he's talking in the old lady voice. <laughs> he's so bulgy. He's like a moose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think he's going to the window again. He's over there dancing. <laughs> oh, yeah, when he's outside. <laughs> Being the fucking peeping. I'm sorry, the, uh, what the hell? Or like, you know, like a the, the, peeper, the, the, peeping the, time. Well, no, 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 oh. he's not. Cause, no, because he's showing himself, so he's a... um. Uh, he, uh, this lewdness. So he's just basically oh. f- he's a flasher. That's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> uh, all right, but I love it. Anyway, let's, real quick, Ursula. Wh- how? What a stupid name. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, well, I'm like, I, I remember, like, I kind of like. It is Vermont. Bl- I got like block her name right. Out it is th- Vermont. Th- th- yeah, th- Vermont, throughout yeah. this movie, and I'm I'm reading the quotes again. I'm like Ursula. I'm like, who the fuck is that? And I'm like, wait a minute, that's the blonde, the good looking blonde chick. Yeah. I'm like, this is so stupid. This has with- your name written all over it. You oh. say, just say Officer Hanson then. <laughs> it should have been like, like a simple name, like Jessica, like, but Ursula. Like, yeah. I don't know why they chose that. It's name. Vermont. What are you going to do? I, I don't Crazy. <laughs> <clears throat> Crazy. I see. It. Jafar right. was taken. So. J- <laughs> <laughs> Aziz. <laughs> all right. Um, favorite quotes, boys. I like, oh my God, here we go. <laughs> Another good scene. As always, we have the movie on in the background, so we keep oh. going back and forth. All right, before we move on, so the chase scene with Rabbit, why does Farva, like, as I'm looking at it now, maybe because the fact that gas is so expensive. Oh, that's it. All right, now I know. He has to get 10 de- worth g- gallons worth of gas, and he, and he gets a free hot dog. He gets a free hot dog. Fuck. I, now I just put two together. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so I'm like, why is this asshole putting. I, I, I just didn't look at the sign. And so I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> then he comes out with the hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, ten dollars worth a gallon, uh, ten dollars worth of gas. How much is that like? No, Fif- ten gallons. Ten gallons. <laughs> yeah. All right. So he spent. I didn't see what the sign was. So he, yeah, ten gallons. You get a free hot dog. So how much is that like? Like eight dollars at, at that time. Yeah, it was, it was probably less than twenty bucks. Yeah, I'm it was like saying, I think it was like seventeen dollars. Yeah, I think it was seventeen dollars. You showed him there. It was like probably dollar seventy nine a gallon. Oh. And 
Yeah, I remember those days. Yeah. Remember it was like 99 cents before we first started driving? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Back of my, back of my day, it, was, it was a corner. When I first started driving, I remember it was 89 cents at the corner gas station. Because yeah, yeah. I could literally look for change at the bottom of my car. Yeah, that was what you said. Like, <laughs> you, like, you just, you'd hand the person over some change. You'd be like, fill me up with whatever we got of this. <laughs> like, uh, I got five bucks. And you'd, look at, you'd get seven gallons worth of gas. You'd yeah, like, but fuck. five bucks, you'd be like, oh, shit, man. I got like a, sure, I got at least half a tank right yeah. now. <laughs> I, can dri- I can drive to Mexico for <laughs> you. You guys boys like, Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. So, all right. Favorite quotes, Brian. All right. So I didn't. Off. I didn't write any down, oh. only because yeah, I, I just felt. Head, I just felt it was going to be like too much to write down. But um, all right. So I wrote seventeen quotes just from the first ten minutes. No, because <laughs> <laughs> then it's a, like I, I was just ones that I was like, well, we're probably all going to have similar, you know, same quotes. So I was like, uh, right from the beginning. All right. Hold on. I'm going to cut you off. So here's the scene with. Um, uh, what's his what's his thorny friend? thorny and his I guess girlfriend yeah and they're like and you know I love I, I can't believe this wasn't mentioned I f- forgot about this where they're like they're like about to get ready for bed oh I mentioned it I said the the Germans were my favorite pullover and then when they came back later right so oh it's a mustache ride yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah, like yeah. you didn't get to because like you have to because you feel like as a parent you're like you, you think there's a time time like oh they got the they got kids there they yeah put their kids to bed stop jumping on the bed yeah stop jumping on the bed that's going on and then she realizes the fucking Germans but they have a foursome. <laughs> 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 Any other day, get out there and show you how to swing. But <laughs> oh, cars hot. The cars hot. Yeah, <laughs> get over right. there and cuff them. All right, Brian, go ahead. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll just start with this one because it's you know it's a classic one. Who wants a mustache ride? I probably <laughs> one of the most like usable um, ones as well. The one I always love. It's right from the beginning of the movie. And the the fucking kid who's super high. And the snozzberries taste taste like snozzberries. A Grady one. I believe that when my shit turns purple. (laughs) (laughs) Um, What else was there? Uh, There's, there's, there's so many, but I'm just gonna like let you guys go, and then I'll just jump in when I I'll just yeah, whenever one uh, jogs your memory. Okay, I've got what you got. So I got from the beginning, littering and littering, littering and. and littering and smoking the reefer. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, Farm when he's sitting there trying to figure out what to do with them. He has all these different ideas, and uh, Jay is just like, "No, those are, those are all terrible ideas." <laughs> it's like you went dark. Yeah. But I like the one he was like, "Well, what if I just call the guy a chicken fucker? <laughs> License registration, chicken fucker." <laughs> 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 Uh, so we did have the, I'm sorry, Bruce, these boys get that syrup in them. They get all antsy in the pantsy. So yep. there you uh, go. Uh, let's see. Uh, I like Thorny when they get in that fight and uh, they're asking, you know, he's okay. He's like, I'm okay, but I can't say the same for these white devils. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> white devils. Yeah, but uh, I have the whole. No, I thought it was, uh, he's like, I'm cool, but I, you can't trust these white devils. Like, so, something like that. I thought yeah, it was, yeah. I'm okay, but you can't trust these white I, I, That's yeah, how I wrote yeah. it down, so I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, because when they're talking, like, after the fight and uh, O'Hagan's going after him, like, uh, just going, like, yelling at them. And he's like, yeah, ca- like, Chief, you know me. I'm cool, but, you know, you can't trust these white devils over here. <laughs> <laughs> so I have the whole thing for the uh, everything that's said between him and the restaurant worker with the uh, <clears throat> yeah. with the, the bacon burger and then the, uh, the liter cola. Uh, I want a goddamn liter cola. <laughs> Father, just but even right order a that, large. Say car ramrod. Yeah. Say car ramrod. Is yeah. it writes it down? <laughs> <laughs> I even wrote it down. Ah, oh, I must have missed it. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the gun range. It's like, oh, well, what about that little guy? Oh, this little guy? I wouldn't worry about this little guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're my boy, back. <laughs> as as he's referring to the how, how's the shooting going on? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, what about the points they got? The one on the neck. I'm on fi- he says something like, "I'm on fire today. I can't miss." What about that little guy? Yeah. I wouldn't worry about that little guy. <laughs> so <you go>. uh, <clears throat> after they find out they're or they're. They didn't. I don't think they got fired yet, or their budget cut yet. But they're sitting there talking about what they were going to do. It's like, you guys put in for any other jobs yet? He's like, Yeah, I applied for a guard job at the post office. Like, yep, they'll finally be able to shoot someone. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was like when going postal was actually around that time frame. So then we did a, a bear, bear fucker. Do you need assistance? <laughs> And then, uh, but our shenanigans are cheeky and fun. <laughs> yeah, but yours are just dark. Yeah. <laughs> so the one what's, line What's that the name I of that wrestling you like? <laughs> shenanigans. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's pistol why. Whip him. Yeah, that's why I have that one. It's like, I swear to God, I'll piss the whip next guy who says shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the one line I never noticed before is at the baseball game that was fucking hilarious after they buy him the huge cotton candy thing. 
So they're sitting there, it's blocking the view. The one guy keeps telling him to put it down. He turns around and goes, how's the view from Sugar Heaven, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> So that's the line I never caught before. There's other shit going on in the background, yeah. but I had closed captioning on this time, and I saw. I was like, "What the fuck did he just say?" <laughs> so, so there you go. What, How's the view from Sugar Heaven, bitch? One of the other ones that I like is an interaction between uh, Mac and O'Hagan, <laughs> and it's just the uh, he's like, "Mac, if you were if you were my kid, would have took you out back a long time ago." And smothered meat and gravy, you old man. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right, so here we go. From I got, so we got those. I got uh, in the foster. All right, meow. Hand over your license registration. Basically, the the entire meowing. Um, Farver. Hey, let's pop some Viagra and issue tickets with raging mega huge boners. (laughs) What the fuck? I had a bunch of Farvers. A liter of cola. I don't want a large. I want a. I don't want a large Farva. I want a goddamn liter of cola. Um, let's see. And then Farva again, just cleaning out the old locker. She stinks like ass, but I'll, I'll, I'll sure miss her. Yeah. I guess you can say that about all my girls. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> and then again, if we start up again, the, the fucking syrup chugging scene, uh, where Max like, what's the matter, rabbit? Your mother teach you to chug. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> it's so stupid. Oh God, that was great. So, uh, Brian, you remember anything else from there, or, or is that on your point? Uh, that, no. Anything uh, come to mind? <laughs> no, not at the moment. No, I I kind of had one, but then it just yeah, it lost you. Yeah. All right, I'll come back. All right, so on this, let's let's. Uh, I'm out of beer. I should get a new one. Uh, so we'll take a break, and we'll be right back. Due to our tight fiscal situation, we regret to inform you you, you <laughs> inform you we are still going to have to close your station. Good luck in Sherborne, John, and give your men my best. Sincerely, Governor Fuckhead. All right. <laughs> Reels, Booze, and Bros, a.k.a. Arby Tale. Welcome back. We are actually at the... Uh, the, the the burger fast, punk, uh, the <laughs> the fast food scene. Uh, uh, Nimbus was no no Bimbus. Dimbus. Dimbus. God damn, I can't believe I forgot because <laughs> I'm watching. Uh, it's a baked gold cheeseburger for a cop. All right, so let's finish up the rest of this podcast going on. Let's uh, let's let's go to the awards. What we got for best quote? Like it's very tough, but when it, when you think Super Troopers, what comes to mind? <coughs> yes, exactly that. And what else? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. For me, it's the snozberries taste like snozberries. Snozberries is a good one. I it's, went, so th- the first quote that makes me, or I think of from this movie, is littering and littering and <laughs> I, yeah, smoking have, the reef. Like we have, we have se- like totally different ones. But um, my my new favorite quote from the movie is definitely, "How's the view from Sugar Heaven, bitch?" Fucking <laughs> <laughs> so stabbing them with the, with, the, with the cotton candy. The cotton candy. Oh, cotton candy is gross. <laughs> I was like spit to you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck it. <laughs> Uh, it adds it adds to the preservatives. Um, I went to like say, say car ramrod, ramrod, mm-hmm. ramrod. <laughs> I wrote it down. I, I wrote it down. So uh, oh, I uh, forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know because then that also comes to mind. It's like can I get a liter of cola? It's like what the fuck? Um, what was some other good one? It's French for give me goddamn. Co- uh, no, actually no. That's what was. What did you say? It's French for hold on. Give me some fucking cola. Yeah, there's <laughs> French for give me my fucking cola. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's that one. Then there's who wants a mustache ride. Yeah, that's the other um, one. What else? Some other good ones that that's in there. That like, when you think of this shenanigans. Uh, when I think of super troopers and uh, that guy, don't worry about that little guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that little guy. I wouldn't worry about that little guy. Yeah. So like, um, <laughs> hey, there's like several of them in this. So it's very tough. I, I think we can go anywhere with this. Uh, all right, so best scene. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I love the, what was it called? Dimbus, the Dimbus? Uh, yeah, burger Dimbus Burger. Scene, that, like, Farva kills it in that, and oh, my God. And <laughs> this scene's great. They're p- throwing the, <laughs> like, the fucking, <laughs> yeah, Burger Boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. And pa- throwing powdered sugar on them in there. Uh, what else? What what else we got going on here? What other scenes you guys think? Um <laughs> I got two for me that okay. that's uh, we we've already mentioned it it's so much already. 
We got like two quotes that possibly uh-huh. go for the best quote come from the first scene, the opening scene. Yeah. The okay. First pullover. The first pullover. And then I and I love the it really sets the tone for the movie. Like this is And I and I love Meow. Okay. I, I love that one. Yeah, that scene, traffic scene. Okay, Kev, what you got? <laughs> no, you say it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> but I like, uh, yeah, the first pullover scene. But to go for another one, I also went with the uh, the gun range. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly. Oh, let's see. Oh, that, that's exactly what I uh, went for. Uh, I'm not gonna the gun range. Yeah, the gun range. I, I think of that one. You can't go wrong. <laughs> you know, yeah, like. Uh, like I think of Super Troopers, I'm like God, that's the guy they shoot the other in the fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna feel a little pinch. Yeah, uh, um, yeah so fucking like rabbits like, like almost throwing up. He's like, <laughs> 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 all right. Um, but it can go with, with like like several there that's going on. All right, so Randy Watson, best character. I I really went. I really wanted to go with Captain O'Hagan. I'm gonna have an unpopular, right but he's been in there a lot. So he was my number two runner. Um, what, what do you guys think? It, it was hard to pick someone it was because tough. most of the cops are like in the movie enough yes. where it's hard yeah, to yeah, say yeah, which yeah. one is like the odd man out. Uh-huh. Even like this guy. The chief? Yeah. yeah. And I didn't want to pick any of the other guys from the other police department because they all suck basically. So my unpopular opinion is uh, Ursula. So take Ursula? That. I don't uh, care about her name being stupid. Uh, <clears throat> I, I, I don't care. I think she's hot and she's great in this movie and also... Uh, same year it came out, Freddie got fingered. She's in that also. Oh yeah, that she's the the handicapped girlfriend. <laughs> that I could barely watch that movie. <laughs> oh, that movie's fucking great. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. Oh, uh, fantastic! <laughs> All right, fucking um, love that movie. But she's in that movie too. And she's hot in that movie too, so I don't care. Oh yeah, she's very. It was hard to pick any <laughs> like, <laughs> like you can't pick any of the main cops sure. because they're in the movie too. Yeah, much, so. they didn't yeah. Have screen time. Like even like that's why I went with like um, run up as Captain O'Hagan. <laughs> um, Brian, who'd you go with? Uh, this, I mean, this was a tough one. Like, I was like, I don't even know who you could like register for. Like, I, th- I think I have anything for this, but I want to just want to hear what you got, Brian. Uh, I would have to go with the the German. He was good. He was he was fantastic. If the, not, it's gonna be the kid, like the kid like, from Dimpus. But it was the, uh, <laughs> like, but like the, they were like a couple. I went I went with Mayor Timber cause when they do with the big drug bust, uh-huh. and okay. he's just like. And he's just like coming in there, like taking oh, the pictures oh, and shit like that. Remember not the governor, that? mayor. Yeah. yeah, it was the okay, mayor. No marijuana. Why are yeah. we here? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's like, over there, come here, give me one of those guns. He's pulling <laughs> up stuff like that. That's a, that's a good choice. Yeah, it's like he was in there literally for like two minutes, and he was just like acting a fool, but I loved it. That's <laughs> like this. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so I, that, that was good. I, I Throw a little party. Show what we think about our law enforcement. <laughs> Uh, so he was good. So I liked that. That's who I went with. All right. That's and, a good choice. And I like Captain Hagen because everything he said was yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. He was great. Uh, so <laughs> it was, as we, we say earlier, before yeah, we started rewinding the tape here, too. <laughs> he, uh, like, like the guy who plays Captain O'Hagan, um, he's like always plays as a bad guy. This is the only time he was actually, like, you know, as a known, like, like protagonist. Well, this one, he was an antagonist. He was, I guess, I don't, do you ever see the one, uh, You've Jay, you definitely seen it. The Johnny Knoxville movie where he tries to, where he's in the Special Olympics. Oh, the Ringer, God, yeah, the, the Ringer. Ringer. Yeah, 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 that one. He he plays like the uncle who's trying to bet on it, <laughs> get <laughs> and rig it. <laughs> yeah, rigging the special. Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Uh, Adrian Balboa, worst character. Let's see who we go with this. What do you guys think? I went with uh, Chief Grady. Yeah, that's right? my choice. Because he just want to like knock the fuck out of himself like that. So. That's yeah. that's who I had, but I also had special mention for Rabbit as one of the cops because I feel like compared to all yeah. the other cops, he doesn't really do anything. I know he's the rookie and he's like supposed uh, to be there to see what everyone else is doing. Yeah, yeah. But I don't, I don't think he has like one good line or does anything interesting in the movie at all besides, besides almost vomiting when he's uh, the guy's getting shot. Well, vomiting and then also the um, well, one of your scenes wasn't it the uh, the German traffic stop where he's like all over. Yeah, like, but he doesn't get to do anything. <laughs> Come on, I need this. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a star. I wouldn't, I wouldn't sit on that. <laughs> I wouldn't sit on he's so fucking desperate. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, no, Rabbit's not bad. He's got the. I didn't you know, say he was a, bad. I'm just saying, compared to like all the other cops, he's like a nothing compared to everyone else. He can't even fucking chug properly. His mom didn't teach him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's, he's the butt of several jokes, which is so like I, I get that's why he's there because he's like the foil to all the other cops, basically to yeah. show that yeah. he's not on their level and he's like yeah. learning from them. But yes. I feel like he doesn't really add anything. I yeah, do. But he's a step above <laughs> Farah as opposed to being. I well, do like Farah's the, an idiot, so you can see him screw up every now and yeah, then. I do like the scene between him and Farah, and he's like so. I'd light my ass on fire. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I would light my my Grammy on fire or whatever it was. Also. Yeah, because John fucking Dem. 
Um, so you want me to light my Grammy on fire? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Uh, see, look, look, here we go. Here's the rookie coming in after the <laughs> shenanigans scene. He has like pink lipstick all over himself, <laughs> stuff like that. So, you know, I, beautiful big brown lips <laughs> after he just made out with the fucking the, yeah, yeah. The German prisoner. Oh, that's great. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, what else we got? Anything else? That's said on that. Okay. Chief Grady, you suck. All right, BTS behind the scenes. There wasn't much on this. It was it was very tough. Oh wait, 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 oh, we're gone. The biker scene as him. Ah, uh, biker. I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. All right, so we have BTS behind the scenes. So the couple that Farva says chicken fucker to are actually uh, Kevin Heffernan's parents. They knew he was going to say something rude, but weren't prepared for the chicken fucker line. So, <laughs> so they're probably like, hey, listen, mom, dad. Um, yeah, he's gonna come over. He's gonna say something like pretty obnoxious. Might be a curse or two, but it won't be too bad. So just you know, act all, <laughs> see what it is. And they come over, chicken fucker. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck? Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, so in the one we like in the syrup chugging scene in the diner, the first few takes were done with the actors drinking thick iced tea from syrup containers, but the iced tea didn't look realistic enough. Real syrup was brought in, and the actors then did several takes in which they actually <laughs> chugged entire bottles of syrup. Fucking Christ. So, like, m- maybe they should jump up to, like, best scene because of the fucking... That's dedication right there. Yeah. I guess that's why there were so even many empty bottles that. back there. <laughs> even thinking about it jokingly, I'm like, I don't know if I could, like, seriously even attempt chugging a bottle of maple syrup. It sounds I, absolutely yeah, awful. So I probably could, There are sounds takes you see close-ups, however, some wide shots with the iced tea were kept in. I did, when, when I was in the Army, we tried to do the gallon of milk in an hour challenge. I did that. I threw up, but I did it. I threw you did the entire thing. I finished it. But I couldn't I threw finish up. it. Yeah, I threw up <laughs> violently. Like other guys <laughs> threw up more violently than I did. Like we both had big garbage cans throwing up. There's probably a video of it somewhere. It was hysterical, and it smelled so fucking bad. Like I would throw up, I start chugging again some more. It like literally, came, it, I went down and it came back up. Like, this mm-hmm. was when, yeah, when I lived in South Jersey, there was nothing else to do. It was in our backyard, and we just had the, the trash can there because it was needed, <laughs> and it was needed. <laughs> no, yeah, it was like one of those big, like, like, like you know, big gallon fucking, like, uh, oh, God. Yeah. Uh, the body bags. <laughs> it <was> so <laughs> oh, man, uh, that was a good time in Arizona. <laughs> so, And let's see. The bulletproof cup scene was shot at just outside a real-life prison. While Steve Lem stood there wearing just a cup, the inmates were pressed against the fence yelling at him. <laughs> so what do you think some of the inmates were saying? Hey, I love your ass, boy. Come over here. Let me touch it. Or like, you know, stuff like that. Mm. Like, look, here we go. We're watching it now. So they're at the inmate scene. So there he is. Steel cup, <laughs> ash is hanging out. I like how he just nonchalantly shoot. He's not even aiming. He's just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe not. maybe it's the second shot he does it. But at one point, he just goes, yeah, whatever. And just yeah, he just shoots <laughs> it and still hits him. Yeah, that's uh, that's like <laughs> sniper aiming right there. The fact that he doesn't you see, look, you he, see he, rap in the background already. Yeah. <sighs> he's only, the fact that he doesn't even look <laughs> at, at like um, he's not looking down the sights. And then he's just shooting at him and stuff like that. Yeah, there you go. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> rabbit. See, look at the good rabbit. Is he's, he's just like, he's a visual actor, uh, <laughs> comic relief in this movie. All right. So on to our questions of the podcast. So. If you smell what The Rock is cooking. Can The Rock make this movie better? Or where should we put him in the movie if you can't make it better? I, I said he can't make it better. And it was very tough to get an idea of where should we should put him in because pretty much everyone is good to go. And um, Put him as a mayor. Yeah. Actually, I like that. Still, I, still wearing a dress? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, the mayor, the mayor, not the governor. Yeah, 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 the no, same no, thing you did yeah, before. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I would say I said him as the as the truck driver that gets pulled over. The, that's uh, that's what I said. It's the only place he really like fits. Yeah, because he fits as like the big guy. But you know what? Him as the mayor, that that'd be a great even funnier yeah. scene because the fact that he's like, look, can I see one of those that fucking give me gun, <laughs> give me gun, give me gun. He's like in these these guys. That, it would make total sense because this jack dude in charge of these fucking moron. Um, uh, more on Super Trooper yeah. stuff like that. Uh, man. The only thing I could think, because I figured someone else would mention the truck driver, the only thing that I thought might work also is just make him the German guy. So he's in the car, yeah, and then yeah. later on, you just see him jumping up and down on the bed. <laughs> and okay. then also he's okay. smoking pot watching that fucking weird Well, uh, I don't think if he jumps on the bed, I think that thing's breaking. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that looks like a fucking twin bed. So um, no, I, I like him as the mayor. 
I think this is the mirror here in this scene. Yeah, right yep. there. Yeah, I yeah, definitely. You know what? I I'm on board with that. Let's <laughs> let's make him the mayor. Okay. Should there be a sequel franchise TV series? I say ugh, sweet sequels. Eh. I hope three is good to see where we go from there. What do you guys think? I didn't mind the second one. Like it wasn't as good as the first one. It's it's tough to live up to the you know uh, the standard that this one set. Um, all right, so all right, I have I have an idea. Yeah, go ahead. I was gonna go go prequel. Go police academy. Show these guys oh, graduating. Oh, like in the actual police academy? Yeah, so actually show them going through police academy, like the actual, not the other, I like the first that. police academy when they're yes. actually in the academy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and actually, yeah, kind of like the police academy. I like that idea. I was going to say, just imagine okay. this. Make that, actually take that, make that into a... Ne- series. Like a series, a Netflix, HBO Max kind of series. Possibly HBO Max. <laughs> oh, Netflix did the same thing too. Imagine one of yeah. that. That mm-hmm. would be awesome. Six episodes, get the, the background of all of them going through whatever the fuck they had to do to, to somehow... Yeah. Barely past the academy, yeah, and, and if they find out they pass, like we're shipping you off to Vermont. <laughs> That's where you're going. <laughs> They're on like the New York Police Academy or something like that. Yeah, oh, yeah. fuck you, you're going uh, middle up at the Canadian border. That's where you're yeah, going. Yeah, like forty five <laughs> minutes to an hour long episodes. You yeah, know, you can't do a half hour. Got to be a long, a little longer. Yeah, it will be like the same thing as like Ted Lasso or something like that. There you go. <laughs> like a Ted Lasso, oh, just, just going to town that bear. <laughs> I know well, what it is. I, I know it's still illegal. It's illegal, <laughs> it's illegal Burton. <laughs> uh, bear. Fuck <laughs> Do you need assistance? <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. Every time, it's, you know what? I may put that as my favorite scene. What did I put? I don't remember anymore. The fact that that's so fucking stupid. Uh, all right. So, if you were to be in the movie, where would you put yourself in this movie? Hmm. I, got, I said for me, uh, the obvious answer is yeah, okay, but I'm not. I want to be at the party at the end. Like, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much the obvious. Like where I would be. So, <laughs> like, um, Kev, what do you think? Anything else? You, would you put yourself at the party, too? I already don't like rabbits. You swap me out for rabbit. I'll be the rookie. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be the rookie? Uh, you, you, I get the German check for five minutes also, so there you go. That's true. <laughs> How about the bear? You, you don't want to be the bear? No, nah, so, probably not. So you, Bear's like, not real. It's yeah. stuff. I don't know if you I, noticed that. I, I, this I, isn't I, the Revenant. <laughs> <laughs> So you're going to be the guy out there fucking the bear in the middle of the woods, stuff like that? Yeah. Do you need... <laughs> and you can be the cop that responds. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the kid laughing in the background right oh, now. Oh, yeah. There. Actually, that'd be pretty good to imagine this, just to see that. Oh, my God. I can't, I can't believe it. All right. So, uh, Brian, we're at the party, too? That's why I'd be at the party. I, I think I would want to stay when the cops show up to see what's going to fucking happen. I'm like, these guys are fucked. Either that, or I'm the bartender here at this one, and we're like, we don't have Schlitz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. Okay. Here, here. Um, uh, want to go punch for punch? <laughs> I did not specify. <laughs> <laughs> good one. All right. Um, where would you like to have? Never should have should her. Would you like Lady that? Lady in blue coming <laughs> through. <laughs> um, would you like to have a have a, beer, have a beer with one of the characters? Uh, the entire Super Trooper squad, right? There's like nothing better than being there. I went Max specifically. Yeah. Well, they're all going to be there, but the fact that Max. So, <clears throat> how about would it be after? The chase scene that they go through and they're at that bar and they're like, Mac, put I'll put on your tab. I think that probably the the best part to have a drink with these guys. That or the one at the end that's about to happen where they get fucking hammered after they lose their budget and they fucking go to trash Grady's house. One or the other. That's actually pretty good as well. Yeah. So uh um, so who's not, fucking drinking? Not, oh not, right, not, oh, right now right. with Favre throwing up. Oh, everywhere. I forgot about that. That's pretty funny. You know what? I might want to be part of that one because <laughs> but, but they don't have the other other guys that are. Well, Favre's the only one who got drunk. Yeah. Well, uh, Father's number one. Father's number one. <laughs> that's not drunk. That's like completely wa- wasted. That's going. Cool. <laughs> uh, Brian, how about you? Like, obviously, whatever. With, with I want to. I want to be at the party at the end, like, because then they're they're playing the games as well. Like, no, that's how you really choke somebody. Got to get underneath the Adam's apple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then they have the uh, the battle like royale with the kids like just. Trying to run into each other, see who's going to stand. So I, I think that's where I would want to be. I'd, I'd want to be hanging out there. Okay, I like that. I like that. Good answer. All right, <laughs> now. <laughs> you could say you could use it literally right here, right now. Yeah. So where can you, the ancient boo, be in this movie? <laughs> so um, 
This, uh, this, what, what do you guys think? You think we right call here? her the Louisville smuggler. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Random woman gets kicked out of the... Uh, Rubbish! Here. Smells! <laughs> I see. Kev, what do you think? Do you agree with that? So uh, I don't have it in the movie. I have it in the post credit scene. I have it while Farber's getting the ship beat out of him by the kids on the bus. <laughs> yeah. Just that, have the boor in there. <laughs> that's if, actually pretty if that, good. If that doesn't count because it's not in the movie, then have it playing while uh, O'Hagan is watching the video of him beating the shit out of the guy at uh, Dimpus Burger. <laughs> and he keeps rewinding it over and over again. Boo! Yeah. Boo! I, I, had, I had mine where the, they are... Hosing and and powder sugaring far because <laughs> they're like how do you what do you say how do you like that whatever sugar boy boo boo <laughs> it's delicious <laughs> <laughs> oh man so okay I, I can I love all of them uh, I can I think we have to do each and every one of those scenes and so <laughs> as always. <laughs> Where are we putting the Tokyo Drift scene? There's a couple of good chase scenes. I think is it, it like, makes most sense with the kids in the back. The kids, you think so? Yeah, in the beginning. Oh, close, I have it there also. But I have it when they're driving away and then slam on the brakes and go in reverse as soon as they go in uh, reverse. So like right the, the, the opening scene? Yeah. So. so not when they pull away and come back around. Literally when they drive off and then just slam in reverse and get back behind the car again. Okay. <laughs> so I have it. Would have got my nine and shot them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, my God. They, they lined it up so perfect. Um, I would... I have it when uh, <laughs> when Mac is jerking off with the radar gun, <laughs> and like, but like, like when he gets he reaches. Foster, you got played. It's called the honey pot. <laughs> when he reaches um, twenty five like miles per hour as he when he's jer jerking off, yeah, jerking off. It starts. <laughs> it starts right there, <laughs> and then it goes into the rest of the chase scene with Rabbit. So <laughs> <laughs> That's a good choice, <laughs> but it has to time perfect where it's like it has to be just as the speedometer numbers start to fly so, up a lot so, more. Yeah, rapidly. yeah, exactly. So I wasn't sure if we're gonna start where where it's like where it goes it starts going let me see if i can uh start from here so picture this i think it goes with we have farver coming out with his hot dog <laughs> and it starts going but then it starts picking up when he starts jerking it off or i, I think I might, I, I might be too too far behind to where it starts so, yeah, that'd but, be too far. <laughs> but just him going on, it's the fucking. You see, it turns to Mac going, ooh, and it goes, doo, doo, and then it goes. <laughs> all of a sudden, it hits twenty five miles an hour, and the guy goes, shit, shit, shit. And he goes after Rabbit. Uh, so I, that's that's where I would have mine. I think uh, I, I don't know. I, I might have to make that video there. For going on, so. Why would he choose to change now? That's the only thing that doesn't make sense when I saw it. So I was like, wait, so. He knows he screwed all of them. He goes back to the department now to get changed into his new outfit, and he's, yeah. while he's wearing it, I don't oh, get the, it. The new I don't get uniform? it. How stupid could you be? God damn it, Farver. <laughs> yeah, Farver's an idiot. So, all right. Um, so, what memorabilia? As bro, we decided to do with this question now. Fuck, you, I always forget something. God what, damn it. What, <laughs> would you take from this movie? I went. I went with the steel cup. That's, that's a good choice. Yeah. So what else? I guess think if any you can have any part of memorabilia anything from this movie. What I think there's take? a couple good choices in here. I'm gonna probably put it as <laughs> some. I'm gonna go with number three would be the bear costume. Oh fuck! I was just gonna say that. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> now, I, now I gotta think of a new answer. For, for some reason, oh yeah, before we go on, for some reason, Kev, <clears throat> I feel like that should have been like up at your uh, your uh, your house or at that college. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so like that, that we had the owl suit. It's different. Yeah, I, yeah, that's why. No wonder why I thought of. It. I'm like, why does this fuck? Because we used to have the owl. It was just like it was a, it was a child's Halloween costume. <laughs> Of an owl, but we used to take the whole thing and put it over our head so our face was sticking through it. So yeah. the legs are like coming down off our neck and the arms yeah. were coming yeah. out yeah. side of the head. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Exactly. the owl suit. And then we used to wear it with uh, my roommate Matt worked at uh, the Toy Story place in uh, in Florida when he worked in Disney World for like the summer program. Uh -huh. So it had the orange jumpsuit that said Toy Story on it. So it was yeah. the outfit was the orange jumpsuit with the owl <laughs> suit on on top. That was nice. that was our go to outfit at the house. <laughs> um so number two would be the police car, car ramrod. <laughs> the actual police car? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And number one is... Oh, fuck. We had an inflatable bear at our house. Just remember, it was in the, fir the first house because it, it broke during one of the Eagles games oh, okay. somehow. Don't, don't ask yeah. questions. <laughs> but number one for me would be um, Foster's head from the 
the body. Uh, the, the dummy? The dummy. The dummy when fuck. he gets, gets fucking... damn it. I was chest. thinking that too. This sucks. Uh, <laughs> the one that gets broken off in the first yeah, chase. Yeah, yeah, right? the chase. Hey, good looking. <laughs> uh, well, the, the only other... The only other Catch body. any speeders? <laughs> the only thing I could think of is the fucking headband of the dollar bills that Mac is wearing. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. He takes yeah. it off at the end, so... Or maybe the, or maybe the costume of when they're they're going to go undercover and there's a truck driver and they can't drive. Yeah. Like, where did they get those wigs um, and the trucker hats? This is this stick month? shift? Yeah. <laughs> who, who knows a stick shift? Who knew a stick shift? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. All right. So final thoughts, gentlemen. I guess the memorabilia I could take this movie would be a huge brick of weed and try to sell it. Can I do that? Just take money instead? Uh, we I know did, it's probably not that expensive anymore. Yeah, it's, so, it's, yeah. it's legal now. So you, but I mean, it's still worth money. I'm just, <laughs> yeah. The cup from Dimpus that has a hole in it? Whatever, I'm unimaginative. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's probably shit weed, so I, in fact, that's going on. Canadian. On. I see. Um, all right, final thoughts, bros. What do we got? Kev, your final thoughts on this movie? Super Troopers. Oh, you could also have the, the blow-up doll that says Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> They're about to ride it in. It yeah. uh, belongs to Favre, doesn't they say? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's got your name written all over it. <laughs> Maybe you want to take the powder sugar. And he goes, the, the, the bag of powder yeah. sugar. That and then as it's Favre. going by. Lady in blue coming through. <laughs> as, as it's going by, he's like, that's my girl. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Charlie's angel. Yeah. Uh, how about that? Maybe that two by four from the from the O'Grady's house. <laughs> stuff. I said they have a lot of stuff in here. It's a... Nice. Uh, that's true. There's a lot of like. Can we take more than one thing? I don't know. I do like the metal cup. Uh, the yeah, that's that's a solid one. So that's like that's like definitely you would know from like. I guess what I got. I got the metal cup from Super Troopers. Yeah. Either that or just get one of their police uh, trooper outfits. Would be, but you know what? Good Halloween costume. I know it's probably not as exciting for you, Jay. No, but no, just saying. No. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would rather. Yeah, it's one of those things you think like, <clears throat> hey, this is the costume where the guy fucks the bear in Super Troopers. <laughs> I'm like, that's great. Think outside the box, take the hog. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe take that camper full of weed or something yeah. like that. Yeah. The take, oh, take, take the, the window bagel in general, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, all right. Final thoughts, boys. What do we got going on here, bros? Uh, classic. I mean, it's just as good as when it came out. So, like like we said, this is a perfect, like, rewatchable movie. Like, you can watch it at, at any point in the movie and just fucking laugh. So, for me... Solid, solid movie. I will always watch this and always enjoy it. Kev, what do you think of your thoughts? Yeah, great movie. Great. I think this came out, so this is 2001, so it's just the time of like the, the other like over-the-wall kind of gross outish comedies that come in. And it's definitely under the radar compared to those. Like American Pie was a couple years before. You had yeah, uh, that was the 99. Chris Farley movies before this also, which weren't that off the wall, but they, they were starting to get that way basically. But yeah, I, th I feel like it's kind of forgotten in that era of all those movies that came out, but still definitely just as good, if not better, than a lot of those movies that mm -hmm. came out. So, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, but you just said, uh, well, no, Dumb and Dumber, Kingpin, and something about Mary were a couple of years. So, yeah, those this. are mid 90s. Yeah. yeah, it's like 94. Yeah, so here's something they had. They had uh, Zoolander came out. And then, of course, uh, Freddy Got Fingered came out the same year. Phenomenal movie. <laughs> yeah, so like, let's hear. So Zoolander came out uh, during that time frame. Scary Movie 2, not another teen movie came out. Here's a good one that's underrated. Evolution. Remember Dad loved that one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which Dave, one was that? David, David Duchovny. Um, and he's like, I guess they're like... is it? There were scientists. Scientists, and they find these aliens or something like that. It sounds familiar. I, I, yeah. I'll look it up while you're talking. Um, there is like, let's see, Spy Kids, um, the, the Animal, Joe Somebody. Uh, oh, Out Cold. Oh, that's a good one. A fucking... See, that's another one now. Like, all these big ones came out with these big stars. Like uh, it's it's just saying, um, like Black Knight, like like what the fuck is that? That's like that was Martin Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that sucked, but he was big star at the time because um, Zoolander was a big one that came out. That was pretty good. Now another team movie. I'm not sure if I got that kind of much hype that's going on. Oh, good one. Uh, a Knight's Tale came out there. Oh uh, yeah. Well, so. I, I enjoy Knight's Tale. Uh, Rush Hour Two, where um, Chris Tucker was making his. Um, you know, his debut, like, not debut, but he was, like, you know, kind of making the, the leading actor that's kind of yeah. going on there with Jackie Chan. Them two going back together. Um, American Pie 2 came out this year. That's going to Legally Blonde. Um, let's see what else. That's there. Joe Dirt. <laughs> Love yeah. me some Joe Dirt. Uh, How High. Remember How High? Yeah. Fucking Med, uh, Red Man and Method Man. Mm -hmm. like, what is what? Half-Baked? Is that, like, 98-ish, probably? Oh, I think yeah, so. It was, it was before that. 
So like they like there were these other movies. I mean, Chris Rock came out with Down to Earth. Ocean's Eleven came out in two thousand one. So uh, like this is what they had to come through. So this is like this is this is definitely a sleeper movie. I would say Evolution was not as good as this one, but that was very enjoyable. Then here's another one, Three Thousand Miles of Graceland. I think that bombed. Uh, Rockstar, like uh, that was that's um, Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg, which is which was weird. Um, Osmosis Jones. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that was what was going on in the box office that you can think of right there. That's um, I'm, I'm reading there for going on. As for me, uh, Josie and the Pussycats. What the fuck is? That? Yeah, that movie sucked. Um, you don't have to read every movie that came. No, out. I'm, I'm just not, not, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going down a rabbit hole. Um, so as for me, like I said, I can anywhere I can pick this movie up. I'm just gonna watch it. I know it's. I know what happened before. What's gonna happen going on? But like, there's like, it's just good. And this is like really what brought me on to these guys. These guys are hysterical. The, the, the these group. Our other brother brought. You know that Dave met these guys at a bar. He, they saw yeah. them. He saw them on a comedy show, and they he, they met him at a bar after. And um, he was drinking out and hanging with them, and, and he he was talking to Farva, <laughs> and the guys like, listen, I like. He goes, I kind of regret us. Uh, you know, my part in Super Troopers where I showed my dick too early. <laughs> like, That's all you get. You, everything was full. It was shown there. I, sh- I should have saved that for later movies on and stuff like that. So, <laughs> uh, he, said, but, so he said they were hysterical. Yeah. So, and then I was watching a comedy special where um, uh, Thor, the guy who plays Thorny, I can never say his name, because people like, he was saying, um, because when you make a movie called Beer Fest, everyone's like, oh, I want to drink a beer with you and stuff like that. He's like, I don't want to do that shit anymore. <laughs> He's like, if you want to smoke with me, then yeah, I'm in. <laughs> so that's a thing to know. So maybe. But he, just, he has directed some other movies. Besides, he directs all their movies, and he's yes. done. Like, he's, I, I have to look I exactly what is his filmography is going on. But I think um, he actually did the Dukes of Hazard. Did it with the one with the Johnny Knoxville, and yeah. um, I, I, that was enjoyable. Now he's in. Uh, he's in. I love you, man. He plays one of the friends. Uh, yes, yes, he does. So it's good. Yeah, he. Has, well, not not uh not Peter Clavin's friend, but <laughs> yeah, he, he's out there as well. He's like a, like a far off character. In the yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna boat race. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so that's it for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining us. Uh, let's see if you hope you enjoyed this movie as much as we enjoy viewing and drinking to this movie. Our next episode will be out whenever we can. <laughs> we we tried to keep a good schedule. We got a couple uh, we've been talking about, so we possibly Shaun of the Dead, but some other ones we've been thinking about going on. Listen, you mentioned something Tarantino, possibly. Oh, yeah, Tarantino. We mentioned uh, Animal House. At Animal House, too. yeah. Do that. I mean, you did mention a movie we, you just said. I mean, I, I would definitely do it. Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Eleven, that's a good one. I think it was. Scream? We do Scream? <laughs> have, have we done Scream? <laughs> I, I can't remember exactly. Oh, so. uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> My claws turned. Fuck off, both of you. So, all right. So, if you want to be part of the Reels, Booze, and Bros, uh, aka RB2 podcast, check us out on our website to find out how. ReelsBoozeBros.com. And <laughs> that's, my <laughs> that's my girl. Uh, yes. And uh, check out also our social media. We ex- I started making videos of our. So, I'm making videos of our. Um, tw- of, of, uh, stuff we've done, some of the questions, just as in uh, the Tokyo Drift. So, I put up the. The Tokyo Drift for Interstellar, and, was it, uh, and then for the previous one, just the space ball. So yeah. I'll try to do it for this one, and, and I'll try to go back to the other uh, previous movies we've done that had the, uh, the Tokyo Drift scene and all that. And that's it. So I, again, appreciate it. Thank you, and cheers.